reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. Leading the flock across the desert, he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There an angel of the Lord appeared to him in fire flaming out of a bush. As he looked down, he was surprised to see that the bush, though on fire, was not consumed. So Moses decided, I must go over to look at this remarkable sight and see why the bush is not burned. When the Lord saw him coming over to look at it more closely, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses. He answered, Here I am. God said, Come no nearer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, he continued, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. The cry of the children of Israel has reached me, and I have truly noted that the Egyptians are oppressing them. Come now, I will send you to Pharaoh to lead my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? He answered, I will be with you, and this shall be your proof that it is I who have sent you. When you bring my people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this very mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, with all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. No one knows the Son except the Father, no one knows the Father except the Son. Man, knowledge of the Father, you could make that as the, a claim that that's the meaning of life. To know, to know the Father, to know God. But the Father, you know, fathers are, are unique. They can, be, they can be hard to know. We know them by their effects. Uh, so their job and you know, the house that they've owned and built and, you know, maybe their hobbies and maybe even like their personality on, on the surface. But to really know the heart of a father can be difficult. And often because a father or a man doesn't often know his own heart. So God the Father even more so. And we can know the Father though. This is what Jesus is telling us. We can have that deep, intimate relationship with the Father. You know, the other thing about knowing fathers is it can be intimidating. You know, our fathers, our mothers as well, but really our fathers, I think, um, they have this aura, this mystique about them. I, I hear a lot of uh, people tell me uh, that it, it's very difficult for them. So this would be people now in their middle ages or, you know, reaching the, the autumn, the, even the winter of their life. When they see, and their parents are still living, they see their, their parents starting to slip or, or you know, really dying. Um, when a man sees, you know, a man in his 50s or 60s, early 70s, sees his father uh, in, a, in a vulnerable, weak position, uh, either they're losing their memory or they, phys they physically can't do it, um, and they, they even need to take care of them. It's very, it's very difficult and challenging uh, for the for the son or for the daughter, because they're used to seeing their father, their mother in in this light of you know they're in control and they're they're powerful and they're protecting. So, anyways, it just it goes to show that 
um, you know, one-on-ones with the Father, hearts to hearts with the Father is, is just, it's not natural to us, and, and even more so with God. And yet, no, not with Jesus. Now, Jesus is saying we can know God the Father through, through himself. Uh, Jesus can reveal God the Father. And it's not a one-time revelation. Like, here's, oh, here's the playbook on, on my Father, so read it, and now you know him. But it's an ongoing thing. Uh, our understanding of God the Father grows and it evolves. But we have to pray. Uh, and the more time we spend with Jesus, the more we pray to him, the more we receive him in the Eucharist, the more he reveals his Father to us, the more we understand. And because we can only take the Father and knowledge of the Father in, in pieces, in doses, we can't all get it at once, it's crucial that we always we always keep praying and, and opening our hearts up opening our hearts up to God the Father, to Jesus, his Son. This is what Moses does. This is why God the Father speaks to his son Moses in the burning bush and says to him, take off your sandals, the ground upon which you stand is holy. I always cite this passage for someone who's struggling in shame or with their own sinfulness. God wants Moses, his feet. Remember, the feet's the dirtiest part of the body. That's why Jesus washed his feet at the Last Supper. Moses has killed a man. He's a murderer, so he's got that on his conscience. His feet, quote-unquote, are, are dirty. He's wearing sandals to cover it up. But God says, take those sandals off. I want you, dirty and full of sin as you are. I want your heart. And so Moses receives an understanding of God the Father that doesn't, cast off sinners but brings them close to us that's what moses received and hopefully we too will receive something today about god our father in heaven amen